すべてはここから始まった。なき闘争と反逆血の宿命だ私の愛する平八さんはやがて世界を戦乱に巻き込む多くの犠牲を生むでしょう貴様は何者じゃ我は剣を清めし者なり全ては動き出したもう誰も止めることはできない様があの時母を殺した貴様をここで終わらせる Yes, Tekken 7 has arrived.、Uh, it's available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, unlike Injustice 2, which is only available on the consoles. Yeah, it's a bit sour over that, guys. Would have liked to have played that one on PC. Apparently, it's coming out later on. Don't know how many months or a year or whatever, but、uh, the Ultimate Edition will be coming to PC whenever Warner Brothers get round to it. But on to today's video,、uh, we're going through all the options and settings on Tekken 7. So, we'll get straight down to it and see what's available to tweak and set up on this particular game. Now, when you load the game,、uh, I was presented straight away with、uh, an option to customize controllers because obviously you might want more than one controller. X input customization. I've gone with the default, so just backed out and、uh, sat here with the Xbox One controller because I know most of you guys probably use this. If not, you might use a DS4, PlayStation controller, or maybe even a Steam controller. I don't know. Uh, there are some other options, of course, but we'll, we'll see what the options have got in them. I've not looked yet, so I'm straight in.、Um, we'll start off with the game options and do that right now. So we'll go into this.、Uh, we've got story mode difficulty. Okay, all the way up to five stars. Well, that'd be no good for me because I must admit, I do not play fighting games very often, very, very rare. So,、uh, you know, I'm quite looking forward to having a go at this because it's sort of out of my comfort zone.、Uh, going into a fighting game is something a bit different for me. So,、uh, yeah, I don't know what setting I'd have it on. Probably middle of the range. You tell me. CPU difficulty. Okay, that's different. Does that not tie in then? So, we've got medium hard, very hard, ultra hard, and easy. Alright. Number of rounds. All the way up to. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, five. Up to five rounds, guys. Time limit 60 seconds, 80, 99, infinity, starting at 30. So it's 30, 40, 60, 80, 99, infinity. infinity. Okay. Controller vibration settings on and off. Leave those on. Definitely have a bit of、uh, rumble feedback there. Tournament settings. Okay, it says here tournament settings have been enabled and following changes to the VS Battle have been implemented. Controls. 
During battle, the little three line button on the controller will be disabled, preventing the game from being paused. Note the game will not pause even if the controller is disconnected. Okay. All battles will be best of five and each round will be 60 seconds long. Okay. So you can't pause the game then on this. Right. In the main menu, the little trophy there is that little cup shield thing will be displayed next to the mode's name in this mode the battle number and consecutive wins will not be displayed pre and post battle character sequences cannot be skipped okay no skipping the little cutscenes and everyone tournament settings off so i can pause the game and i can skip the cutscenes hopefully right okay sound options I wonder does it support surround sound because loads of games lately I've done these little videos on haven't supported any form of surround sound let's have a look oh what we got here then master volume background music volume sound effects and voice volume movie volume subtitles on and off nothing there about audio okay right fair enough probably only stereo controller setup this will be a complicated one. Player one, your typical, like I say, Xbox controller prompts there. I will grab a hold of a PlayStation 4 controller. Check button import, restore previous settings, restore default settings, confirm and exit. Okay, so let's just grab a PlayStation 4 controller right now and plug it in while we're on this. Okay, there's my PlayStation 4 controller. Go the old fashioned way and plug it in. Um, no dongle. Yes, yes. Uh, save changes. No. It won't let me move. There we go. Can't see changes. Yes. There we go. Right. Back. So we're on display settings now. HUD settings. Standard or max? I'm going to be standard. Motion blur on and off. Oh, no. No, no. We have got options. We've got low, medium, high, and off. Put it on low, I don't want it to be too too blurry. Uh, graphics settings. Okay, so we are... It's currently set itself to borderless. Um, we have full screen and window. Yeah. Okay, it's defaulted to max res of my card. That is the maximum resolution my graphics card will run which is an R9290X at standard clocks. So that's a four gigabyte VRAM card and it's defaulted to the max, max res on it. Let's see what it goes all the way down to, shall we? Oh, or maybe not. No, you're telling me I can't drop the graphics down. Don't think so. <laughs> uh, hmm, that's interesting. Let's go full screen and see if we get the option. Right. Okay, that's really weird, guys. I've not got no option to change it down, the res. V-Sync on and off. Uh, measure display FPS. That's a handy one. I mean, I will be running MSI uh, Afterburner on screen display so you guys can see the VRAM usage and stuff. Although it's going to be a bit tricky if we stuck to 4K all the time. So we'll leave that off. Rendering quality preset. Medium, high, ultra. What's after ultra? Custom. Yeah, obviously. Low, medium, high, ultra, custom. Right, okay. Rendering scale 100, anti-aliasing, we've got high, low, off, 
Oh, just high, low enough. Shadow settings. We've got ultra, high, medium, low. Okay, and back to ultra. Texture quality, ultra, high, medium, low. Effects quality, ultra, high, medium, and low again. And post-processing quality, ultra, high, medium, low. Is there a low? Yes, low. Dynamically adjust, this is for the resolution. So in other words, if your GPU load is too high, it will do as much as it can to keep 60 frames per second lock, because obviously in a fighting game, uh, the high frame rate is very important. So this is an adjustable FPS, This, uh, sorry, adjustable resolution. It will not stay at 3200 by 1800, and it will also scale all the effects. So um, all these here on the menu there, it will scale all those up and down to try and keep 60 frames per second. Dynamic adjustment can be turned off, of course. Um, you really do want it quite fluid, though, so bear that in mind. We'll leave it on, especially seeing as I'm jammed on 4K. I don't think we can adjust it with that off even, can we? No. I think we've got a bit of a bug there, you know. Okay, so that's... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I am stuck at 4K. So let's try and get into game, see what it goes like, yeah? I'll put the uh, VRAM usage and everything up so as well. There we go. There you go. Trouble is, it's in 4K. So on this menu here, um, it's only using six CPU cores on this menu, and it's only using ooh, what we got? 1.6, uh, 1606 megabytes of VRAM. So let's go story see how quick it loads Ooh, difficulty level I'm a novice novice I played a little bit of uh, injustice one it's going back to what 2013 ish something like that played a little bit of that and I do like the look of injustice 2 I do want to try that but I would like to try it on PC so I'm gonna wait wait for the release looks quite nice on the consoles don't get me wrong um, it's just Rather a PC release. Can we skip all this? We can, can't we? I remember we scribbled on it. Skip, I was skip. Still yeah, there we go. Loads of skipping. Still loading. Yep. VRAM usage has now gone up to 2.4 gigabytes of VRAM. Again, mostly six CPU cores being used while it's loading out of 8. This is an FX 8350 at 4.2 so it's an 8 core CPU. Game is installed on a 7200 hard drive and Windows 10 Pro is installed on an Intel SSD. So these loading times could be sped up a bit obviously if you run it on an SSD. Do we get into game? Skip. Right, so press the three line button to skip. That didn't work. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Skip movie. Duh. Right, sound options. Have we got anything else? No. Skip movie. Okay, so FPS. Uh, it's like so small. I've got 54, 55, but bear in mind we are at 4K or my graphics card equivalent of 4K and we're using 2.2 gigabytes of VRAM so it's obviously dropped the textures down quite a lot right we could definitely do with dropping this res down and upping all the textures a bit it's uh it's staying good on the frames per second, but I would personally run it at a, a nicer quality and drop the res down a bit because it looks a bit dated, shall we say. Um, I mean, it was converted from the arcade machine board to um, an NVIDIA Gameworks type setup. Um, so obviously it's probably a bit held back by being on the old arcade machines there. Uh, 
Right, okay, so we can see it's only using six CPU cores. It's using eight gigabytes of normal RAM, and it's not really going over 2.2 gigabytes of VRAM. So it's not taxing. I'd like to see it. There's some other options done. Return to main menu. Let's return to main menu. Okay, let's go back into graphics and go to. Ah, there we go. Now it's upsetting my import. That's uh, odd. I'd start the game first for it to do it, but still. So we can drop all the way down from 4K. I'd probably run it at 1440 uh, or 1080, you know. So it's no odds, is it? As long as you keep your frame rate. It goes all the way down to 1024 with 7680 is your lowest res. Uh, you got your 720p there. You got a 900p. It's one of the favourites, isn't it? Yeah, 1600 by 900p there. It's few 900p tellies kicking around or monitors should we say uh, incidentally these resolutions obviously the console console resolution there 900p um, let's go I'd like to see the ultra textures without the adaptive res on so we'll try that at 1440 uh, let's click Yes. Okay, that's better. That's uh, take that adaptive dynamic thing off. There we go. Okay, so everything on ultra, rendering scale at 100. Do not recommend you push that any higher unless your graphics card is really capable of, because it's a little bit like down sampling. You're going to push the res even higher than the 1440p that we've got here. So bear that in mind. It will give you a nice image, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, it's for you guys with your 1070s or 1080s, 1080 Ti's, that sort of thing. Then, yeah, you'll be fine. Rock. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go back into game then. Okay. There we go. Level 1. Hopefully we won't have to skip again. Yes, we are. We've got a skip. Oh, no. Okay, so this is maxed. Uh, 60 frames per second. I think it's tricky because I'm, I'm instantly comparing this against the footage I have seen for Injustice 2 and it's just not that type of game is it? It, it, it really isn't it, it just isn't it, it is the typical Namco look you know a lot of flashy effects uh, it's just the textures a very arcade machine isn't it? Gonna say I'm about to get killed soon. I'm sure I was annoying the chap. Well, oh cutscenes there, uh, they dropped to half speed. We're running at 30 frames per second in the cutscenes. Guess they're meant to be that. Oh no, they're not. It's now 53 frames per second. So cutscenes are a little bit all over the place. Okay. So uh, can we not skip? No. VRAM again very low, uh, 2 gigabyte VRAM used at 1440p on Ultra. Throw him, yes do it. Throw. Throw. He's not throwing. Throw? Kazu? Yeah, yeah. It won't throw him. I think we've got another bug, because obviously yellow and blue there is to press yellow and blue to throw him off the cliff. and. It's not doing that. Oh, pressing both together works. Interesting. Like I say, I'm not up on fighting games. <laughs> Maybe I should have genned up a bit before this video. Okay, so he was no good. We've thrown him away. Skip. There we go. If there were a demon, yes, yes, yes. Next. 
you can sit and watch all these guys I'm uh, not spoiling anything I just want to try it at 1080p and also see if we can get it under like one and a half gigabytes of VRAM so we can see what cards it will work on there's an awful lot of these cutscenes aha This looks a little bit better, doesn't it? You know, the more techie world. Okay, frames per second, 57. Uh, 54, 52. Okay. Oh, we can't we can't adjust them in the middle of a match, I'm afraid. Still fifty four frames per second, so we got no problem running this at uh 1440p. I'd like to get to a section where I can sort of go back to the menu. So uh, let's see if we can cut this match. Nice lighting in this scene. Uh, we got to the end of the first match there, beat the bad guys, and it's cut us straight into this. Whatever this is, probably the next little arena. And we got another bad guy, or bad girl this time. Wait a minute. I think we've lost sound. Yeah, we lost sound. Skip. Oh, you got sound in game, but you haven't got sound. I won't play too much of it, guys, because obviously I don't want to spoil it for you. And like I said, I'm not very good at this type of game anyway, so. Alright, so let's quit. Uh, main menu. Oops, turn to main menu. I keep forgetting that you can't use the left stick to go across to yes. You have to use the D-pad. And that's why I keep fumbling back into the game. Alright, uh, so options again. And we're just going to try and drop this VRAM usage down. So if we go... Uh, down to 1080p and see what it uses. Okay, one and a half gigabytes of VRAM. That covers pretty much most cards, doesn't it, built in the last few years. And if we went down to 900p. One point three and a half gigabytes of VRAM there. And if we went down to 720p, one, 1,200 megabytes, so 1 1.2 gigabytes there VRAM used. Okay, so if we go to quickly go back into game at 1080p and make sure uh, it sticks at that VRAM usage. There we go. It's the most common one, as I say. Okay, so one point. 285 the VRAM usage. Obviously, you could turn some stuff down there if you wanted to. I'd say that's aimed at a 1.5 gigabyte VRAM card with everything at ultra. So, story. Okay, you unlocked a new character. Great. Uh, confirm. Wait for it to load. Oh, I'll we'll skip all this again. Skip, skip. Ugh, keep doing that. Sorry, guys. There we go. D pad, not left stick. Uh, we've shot up in game lot 1.8 gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, so we're going to have to try it in game at a lower setting, see if we can get it below 1.5 gigabytes of VRAM. So, let's return to main menu. 
and just drop it down see if we can get it nice and nice and low see if it scales well oh what's that didn't want to do that gallery options graphics 720p Right, okay. Well, we've not had any crashes at all in this, so that's, uh, that's one good thing. Uh, let's go. Story. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to skip all this, haven't we? Yeah, skip. Come on. It does actually load really quickly, as long as you can skip all this, this cutscene stuff. skip okay so in game 1.6 1.7 gigabytes VRAM no you're not going to get it to uh, get it under without dropping your textures down are you okay so hmm. let's try some of the presets we'll put it at 1080p and we'll go through ultra high medium low see what we get so let's go options graphics let's go to 1080 might make more of an impact is what I'm thinking than just dropping the resolution down maybe it's all the effects that are uh, being a bit tasking so if we go okay so we'll drop it down to medium yeah drops everything down I'll see rendering scale down and everything dynamic adjustment is on we'll turn that off yeah so we've got medium everything there look okay right let's go back into game okay yes if there were skip 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 No, 1.7 gigabytes of VRAM being used at medium. And the character models have certainly taken a hit. A lot of the lighting's still intact. No. Okay, so we're not doing it. Let's drop it down to low, see what we go to. Might just not be possible, it might not go down as far as we're aiming for. We shall see. Uh, let's go back to options. Last one, guys. This video is going to be hours long at the rate I'm going. <laughs> so, we were on medium. Let's go to low. Rendering scale is now at 50. Anti aliasing is completely off, so we're going to get a lot of jaggies on this. Dynamics off. And back. 1147 on the menu. Okay. Skip, skip, skip. And three line button. Well, it is quick to skip all this. It's quite impressive. Right, yeah, we took a big hit there on the graphics. One point one five seven six megabytes. I reckon if you drop the res down, you would clear one and a half gigabyte VRAM cards. But you would have to drop your res to. Say 720. I don't know if 900 would cut it. Um, you'd have to try it. It will go. It will definitely go. But we have got lots of jackies. If you look in the background where all the robot arms and everything are that are moving around and the floor, you'll see a lot of staircasing going on. If I move back without getting killed, move back. <laughs> Yeah, we go. Look at them diagonals on the floor. They're pretty bad. But yeah, you'll get it under one, gig one and a half gigabytes of VRAM. Well, I hope this video helps you guys in getting this game running as best as possible. If it does, please click like on your way out. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.